I'm Sophie Alexander. We farm in Dorset on chalk downland and we have an organic system. We've got about a thousand acres. So at any one time, 30, 35% of it will be in a grass clover lay, which is grazed by replacement dairy cattle. Two years ago, I got very interested in the theory around compost teas. Compost tea is made from compost. It is put in like giant tea bags in the brewer. The point of the brewer is that it oxygenates um, the microbes that are present in the compost and thereby the beneficial microbes, principally fungi, multiply exponentially over 24 hours. I could never make enough compost to apply over a farm of a thousand acres. But with compost tea, we can make um, in one brew enough to apply to 40 hectares. When I became interested in compost teas, it was very hard to envisage how I was actually going to go about it, other than buy a brewer and spray. How was I really going to assess whether it was making any difference to the farm? So the scientific rigour that innovative farmers brings to the trials and the network is vital. I really enjoy the meetings we have and I get a lot from working with the people who come and help with the trials and the soil analysis. I've learned a lot and also it has helped tremendously with financing. It's made it possible to do something that I wanted to investigate. The first year we did trials, 2015, we had results from that which definitely indicated an increase in fungal activity. So this year, 2016 harvest, uh, we've looked at the bushel weights quite carefully. And what seems apparent is that where the compost tea was applied, our bushel weights are higher. This has considerable benefits and implications for us because we uh, want to supply milling oats for a contract and the minimum specification for the bushel weight is 53 kilos. It's worth a big premium to us. So being involved with the field lab has been incredibly valuable in a giving a little bit of well, quite a lot actually, of scientific rigour, which I might not have brought to the equation, um, as well as very helpful funding for the different analysis that we've needed to do. Um, and also inspiration. It's helped me keep the faith. <laughs> and, you know, when I've had to go out and do lots of soil tests or brew another 2,000 litres of compost tea, I've kind of thought, well, lots of other people are involved in this. I can't let anyone down. I must get out there and do it, which is great.